thank you for joining me today. We are going to go over the basics of creating a recipe in Genesis R&D. So the first thing you have to do is select new and then recipe. I'm going to go ahead and name this one seasoned peas. And I'm going to select a serving weighs 85 grams, which I know from the rack values for the serving for vegetables is 85 grams. I'm going to click OK and start entering my ingredients here. The first thing I'm going to search for is peas. So I will type in a search term there, peas frozen, and then select the first one I see here and enter one cup. Now I'm going to search for table salt. Again, type in the search term and select the first one that shows up here and enter one teaspoon. And now I'm going to search for butter. I'm going to select the 75 to 80% fat butter. And here I can enter a quantity either as a decimal 0.25, or I can use a fraction, one fourth cup here. Click OK. And now I have to save the recipe. And I want to go look at a report. So I click the reports ribbon and choose multi column. It's a pretty good overview of everything. In this case, I'm seeing the amount per serving and the amount per 100 grams. And you can see here that there's 200, 208 calories per serving and about three grams sugars and anything that I have selected to show, you can see the nutrient value for here. I also want to show you really quickly what the edit recipe options are. This is our first screen. You will have recognized this from when we created the recipe. You can also enter a common name here, something simplified or a user code. This is our nutrient screen. And here is where I can, if necessary, override any calculated amounts with an amount that I have from, I don't know, a lab analysis. Here is my measures screen. It's on this screen. This is where I would enter a common household measure. Like for example, I could enter one serving equals one cup here. And here is where I would take care of any bricks calculations, but this isn't a liquid. So we're going to ignore that for now. Here is where I would enter a cost for my recipe. And here is where I would associate this recipe to groups for searches or organizational purposes. Groups is a slightly more complicated option. So you might want to review our groups tutorial. And then here is where any attributes that are associated with the ingredients show up here and I can override those again. You might want to check out the attributes tutorial for more information on this one. If you have any reports that you want to compare to a DRI profile, this is where you would do that. So you have all of these options, these DRI options, and then us label and options for other countries. Here is where I would enter preparation instructions and other instructions. This is if I'm using claims, if I'm using a nutrient content claim, I need to associate it with the reference amount, which we already did of 85 grams. Um, but I would enter the claim reference amount here. And then for the nutrient content claims here, this is if on my label, I want to state that this particular formulation has 10% more protein. Here is where I would enter the previous formulation for that recipe for comparison purposes. On this screen, I can enter notes and in my preference file, I can rename the notes titles and choose to show them on the recipe screen. And then here is where I would set HACCP guidelines if I wanted to do so. And then on this screen, I can add any file as an attachment to this recipe. I would either drag it and drop it or browse to find it. And that concludes this tutorial. You should check out our other tutorials at www.eshed.com. Okay, thanks.